Hey guys, what's up? It's Lord DIY, the host and executive producer of Craftopia, and today I am hanging out with J14. So HBO Max and uh, the production company B17 approached me um, hoping that I would take on a role as host and executive producer and they really had the idea already hashed out and I got to come in and add finishing touches, help put together set design, the challenges, the casting of the kids and we really just had an amazing collaborative effort to bring everything together to make Craftopia this incredible, incredible show. Honestly, they approached me with this idea and I was like, I, A, I wish I could have been on this show as a kid and B, I was like, this is literally the show of my dreams. I feel like I've been approached to do shows that are, you know, like room flips and stuff like that, but this was just so fun and such a perfect fit for me that like there was, there was just like no world where I was like, this is, this needs to happen. I remember I was brushing my teeth <laughs> with my boyfriend in the bathroom before bed and he was like, do you realize like how life changing this could potentially be? Like, and I was like, you know what? I don't want to, like, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to jinx it. Like, I don't want to get my hopes up. Like the show is like too incredible. And I remember it was the next day that we got the green light for it. And it was, it was so, so crazy. Like, I'll never forget that moment, but it was really like the teeth brushing moment where I was like, wow, like this would be insane. This set is like nothing you have ever seen. I remember I saw the first digital rendering of it and it was like, it was even just the digital rendering. Uh, JP Connolly was a set designer and he was insane. Like the I just like, I couldn't even imagine bringing something this incredible to life. And so I remember seeing it in digital. We made a few changes, had a few suggestions, and then walking onto the actual set for the first time was, it's just so crazy to see it in like a miniature digital version and then to be actually walking around in it. And I remember so much of it was still kind of covered because it was um, a few days before we would start shooting. And they would like show me, it was like getting to peek under the curtains of all these like almost, almost, almost finished pieces. So for example, um, there's the rainbow runway of like paint that's being spilled out of this massive giant sized paint can. And just like seeing that and realizing that I'm like, oh my God, this is like a 15 foot paint can is just so insane. Oh my gosh, behind the scenes, I would say just like the amount of caffeine intake, like between the judges and I was just like, we were going crazy. Like we would get there around 5.30 in the morning to start going into hair and makeup and uh, one of the judges, James, I think his caffeine intake was just like 12 shots of espresso a day and it was just just like our, our sanity is just up and down all day um, through the long hours but we just had so much fun. I would say the Halloween episodes too, the hair and makeup and the prosthetics that went into it, there's some it's just like it's incredible it's incredible like what really went into uh those episodes as well but we had so much fun it, a lot of it was like in delusion just because we're so tired and just having so much fun but it was so many good memories <laughs> Uh, so we did two challenges a day. Um, so the episodes, the way that we were shooting the episodes was uh, half of episode one in the morning and then half of episode two in the afternoon with a different set of kids. And then the next day it'd be second half of episode one in the morning and second half of episode two in the afternoon. Um, so we'd work with a, we'd work with two sets of kids each day. Oh my gosh, there is an episode where Moose got to come to set and uh, it was around, it was like pet themed and I don't want to give away what the challenge was yet, but Moose got to come to set. He got to run out the rainbow runway in the giant paint can and he had, it was like the best day of his life. Like so many pets, so many treats and he had so much fun.
Oh, no. You know what? No, because these kids were so incredibly talented. And just to be like absolutely crushed by a 13 year old, like, I don't know if my ego could handle that because these kids were like on some next level crafting talent. <laughs>